Bit by bit, our oceans are dying. Bit by bit, our wildlife is shrinking. Bit by bit, our world is suffocating. Teal ocean waves, sparkling golden sands, hot summer days. When you step back and realise what's going on beyond the horizon, think about the billions of pounds of plastic polluting our oceans, marine debris knocking the sea life down one by one, ocean garbage on the sea floor, hard to clean it up now. Are your eyes so shut or are you choosing to ignore it? One plastic bag discarded from lunch, one plastic bottle thrown from a car window, one gust of wind drifts the rubbish out to sea, only to tumble through the ocean's waves on its way to the coral reef. Our life is like a bird set free of a cage. We do what we want, never thinking we'll be in the cage again. It's an ongoing tune of endless alleyways. We have the choices, yet we choose the things we don't really need. We're all too busy in our own minds, daydreaming for money, fancy cars and mansions, all that money getting used for unnecessary things when it could have been helping save our seas. Do you care? Do you want a future for you and your kids and their kids to be a massive pollution without wildlife? That's where we're heading. Wildlife's decreasing, humans increasing, sea levels rising, forests dying, our beautiful creatures fading away, our human race growing at pace. In 2022, we're all living our best lives. Those of us that we're sitting here in 2050 may not have the joy of ocean fish if they're outweighed by the ocean's plastic. Reduce your use of plastic, reuse everything you can, recycle plastic paper and tin. Remembering to do these will help you play your part so in the end we'll have a world filled with happy hearts. If the earth got a choice, it would be restoring itself. But it doesn't have a choice. We have the choices. They need to be the right ones. The ocean's eyes are pleading to us. They're asking for fairness, happiness and cleanliness. We're gazing past their eyes, looking into the sun's blinding lights, ignoring the problems that lurk in our future. Even though the glaciers are shedding tears, the ocean's floors are being replaced, the treetops are becoming paperworks, I still have hope, and so should you. We've been blessed with this one earth, but only this one. If we carry on like this, we'll have none. So if your eyes were so shut before, wake up and stop ignoring the world around you. Bit by bit, we can improve this. Bit by bit, we can find solutions. Bit by bit, earth can be restored. Bit by bit, if we all work together, our marine life can thrive, our forests can flourish, our world can breathe once again.